Hey guys, how's it going? Today I'm going to teach you a tool which you can use to supercharge your productivity and that tool is time blocking. First we're going to go through a bit of background about time blocking and how it came about before diving into a template that you can use to make use of this really great time management tool on Notion. Then I'm going to wrap up with some final thoughts. If you're new to the channel, my name's Tom and I make videos on Notion and how you can use it to lead a more productive life. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, bang subscribe and you're going to be notified when I release new weekly videos. So time blocking, what is it? Uh, I actually first heard about this while reading Deep Work by Cal Newport and the idea is really simple. You need to be making sure that every day you're carving out time, blocks of time to do deep work in. These are uninterrupted slots of one to two hours where you can really focus on honing your craft, whatever it might be, because these are the blocks of time that are going to make you really productive, really efficient and ultimately help you master whatever it is that you're doing. And the mistake that we often make in the modern world is we'll constantly be distracted by emails and slack messages and text messages so you go throughout the day without ever really getting into this sort of focused state of deep work which Cal Newport thinks is so important for us. I honestly think that doing a few hours of deep meaningful work every day could be the difference between you achieving your goals and being a success whatever that might mean to you and having to move home and live in your parents basement trying to scratch a living doing drop shipping on Amazon. But seriously, deep work is important and that's why we're going to spend the rest of the video talking about how you can put a system in place to make doing deep work really, really simple. And the system Cal recommends is time blocking. You just write on the left hand side of a pad or whatever it is you're using, the hours of the day, and then you fill out the day with blocks of one to two hour slots of work that you really need to focus on. This could be things like writing, putting together a business case, doing some data analysis, whatever it is, the idea is that you're committing to just doing these tasks and not being interrupted by email or other distractions. You will actually put a block in here to do these distracting tasks if you need to. For example, if you want to catch up with your email, you might put that in at lunchtime and at the end of the day, rather than checking it every 10 or 15 minutes, which is what most people do. Now you can use a pen and paper for this and that works great, but if you're more digitally minded, you can actually use Notion to do it as well. So let's take a look. First, let's create a table. And in the first column, you're just gonna to wanna to put the hours of the day. Then you're gonna to wanna to make three more columns, uh, which is where you're gonna put your time blocked work. It's gonna become apparent uh, later down the line why you need to create three columns and not just have one. So once you have your times in, it's just a case of writing out what an ideal day looks like. What are the really big pieces of work that you wanna focus on that would make the day a success? Just remember to schedule some time for lunch here and other things that might not necessarily be work focused just to keep a bit of balance. Then it's just a case of working through these tasks in order. I like to cross them off as well by using uh, command shift s. It's just a bit more satisfying that way like you're crossing it off on a pad. Now some of you might have already seen um, some of the flaws to this approach and why we need these extra two columns. Often you will put a bit of work in there and estimate a time, like it might take one hour or two hours, but what actually will end up happening is you'll spend three or four hours on that task. And this isn't necessarily a problem, as long as you're deeply focused on that task. All you need to do is make sure that you adjust your other priorities, and this is what the second column is for. So just drag the tasks into the second column and adjust them in there. I prefer to do it this way rather than deleting the tasks and re-adding them because it's just good to reflect on what you thought the ideal day was and what's ended up happening. And also if you need to reprioritize tasks, for example, you're not gonna be able to copy them from the first column into the second column. If you then catch up with yourself later by completing a task in less time than you thought, you can just then look back at the first column and then pull any tasks in. Now just to be honest with you guys, I don't actually use time blocking every day. I find it a little bit too rigid, even with the sort of separate columns where you can readjust your priorities. I work as a product manager, which means often I'm having to you know, jump into meetings at the last minute or maybe something requires my attention. So it's really not that great for me to be using the system. If you're like an artist or a developer or a writer or someone who doesn't have a load of like external people wanting your attention all the time, 
time blocking could be a really great tool for you. But if you're the sort of person who is always having to readjust their priorities throughout the day, I do recommend a slightly different system which makes use of something called Kanban and I'll leave that in the description for you to check out if that's something that you're interested in. Likewise, if you like this video, I'm gonna leave a playlist here of other Notion guides I've put together. Check it out and see you next time.